Mark Twain once said, if you don't like the weather in New England, just wait a few minutes. But that does not apply to the storms in horror writer Joe Hill's new book. Strange Weather is a collection of four stories which tell of photos, needles, wind and bullets raining down and taps into cultural issues like frequent mass shootings in the United States, which he's referred to as One Nation Under Glock. Hill has also written The Fireman, Heart Shaped Box, and the Lock and Key comic books, which are being turned into a Hulu series. And Joe Hill joins me now. Joe, thanks for... Coming Adam, in. Adam, thanks for having me on. I mean, I guess Jim was going to do this show, and then yeah. and then he saw my name on the guest list, and he's, oh, my God, the show's going right down he, the toilet. He, well, I think so he got a little intimidated, he and he wanted to yeah, yeah. pass it on to me. Uh, do you know Jim, by the way? I mean, talking about him that way, it sounds like you do. Uh, we've you guys crossed tight? paths. Okay. Yeah. It, the, that's a, I, I and so that's why he was like, I'm going to feed Adam to him, you know, instead of, you know. I am glad that I'm doing this instead of Jim because one of the reasons that I totally love the first story in your book is that I think we're exactly the same age, and I feel like the piece completely captured the essence of what it felt like to come of age in the 1980s. Among other things, you know, I was a sort of awkward adolescent. Being a teenager in the 80s, I had forgotten how different the world was, and I think you really yeah. managed to get at that in the piece. Was that something important to you? You, you know, you me? talk about how different it is. I have, I have three boys, and uh, when I grew up, you know, we had a, we had a phone with a rotary dial yeah. in the house, and my oldest boy, he was younger then, um, saw a phone with a rotary dial, and he got really excited, and he said, I know how this works. And he dialed a number, and then he looked at me and said, where's the button to hit send? You know, and I just... The, everything um, was, yeah, everything was different. It's, 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 to me, it's the life I lived, but to a different generation, it's, it is now officially yeah. ancient history. So the other thing that I found fascinating about the first story is the way that you, and I don't want to paraphrasing correctly here, I felt like you anthropomorphized a, a common but very terrifying yeah. medical condition Alzheimer's. for horrific effects. Yeah, can you tell me anything about, uh, and I don't want to spoil this so people don't go out and buy the book, but can you tell me anything about the creative process involved in how you got the idea for the piece and where you took it? Right, so Snapshot, the first story, um, Strange Weather is a book of four short novels. Snapshot is the first story in the book. And it's about the friendship between a 13-year-old in 1988 and a much older woman named Shelley Bukes, um, who was suffering from senile dementia. Um, and, and only she, he, everyone thinks it's Alzheimer's, um, but our hero comes to suspect it's actually the work of a man called the Phoenician who has a camera, a Polaroid camera that can steal memories. And, but not a, a Solaroid, right? Is yeah, it's a Solaroid. Yeah. It's a Solaroid. Um, and... and you know, I wrote it, one of the things we can do with fiction is we can take something in terrible in real life and we can give it a face and we can address it head on. Um, I have a friend uh, who lost a loved one to Alzheimer's who read the story and one of the things he said to me afterwards was he said, I always wanted to be able to beat Alzheimer's up. But there's, there's no one to attack. There's yeah. nothing. And that the story was satisfying because I made Alzheimer's into a, you know, condensed it into a, an actual person, someone we can hate and strike back against. And the resolution, and or one of the resolutions, I found very gratifying in that piece, but I won't say what it was. Your reference to real life and reconfiguring it in fiction, uh, I wanted to ask you, in moments where the real world seems especially terrifying. Mm. And what I'm thinking of right now, I am also a parent like you. I'm thinking of the uh, daily talk of possible nuclear war with North Korea. Right. Um, when the real world seems scarier than usual, does it make your job easier or more difficult? Uh, that's a good question, and I'm, I think maybe in some ways um, it does make, maybe make the job a little bit it, – it's when, when reality is scarier than fiction, yeah. Um, yeah, probably it depresses the horror market a little bit. Um, I wrote a story, the, the fourth story in Strange Weather um, is about climate change. Um, a very specific kind of climate change. Uh, Thunderclouds open up and begin raining nails instead of water. And it becomes this global crisis where, you know, if you're out in the rain, you can be torn to shreds. And uh, in it, I present an America um, overseen by a president who is addicted to Twitter and whose response to a global catastrophe um, is to shriek in all caps you know, on social media and to threaten war with, uh, uh, you know, a distant nation um, who he thinks might be responsible for creating the crisis. And when I wrote it, I thought I was exaggerating the current conditions. 
and now you see uh, the potential for conflict heating up between America and North Korea, and and social media seems to actually be, you know, lighting the fuse to be throwing gasoline on the fire, and it's just amazing that, yeah. that this is the world we live in now. Uh I think of the stories that you wrote here. I mean, you call them short novels. You call them short stories. Uh, I think of them as novellas. Does this form give you possibilities that you don't have when you're writing either a classic novel or short stories? Right. I mean, I think that horror fiction really lives at the length of the short novel, the story that's about 80 to 125 pages. And I'm thinking of books like uh, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill, No Relation. Um, I'm thinking of Turn of the Screw by Henry James. Uh, I, I revere the work of Neil Gaiman, and his best book is called The Ocean at the End of the Lane. That's a terrific book. It's yeah. so scary and so satisfying and very direct, and there isn't a single wasted word in that whole book. It's about 185 mm -hmm. pages long. Um, so I, I think, you know, when you have that short novel, you have a scary short novel, you have something that has the velocity of a short story, but the, the depth of characterization and the thematic complexity um, that you find in a novel, and that's the best of both worlds. Unfortunately, we got to leave it there, but it's a pleasure to meet you, and I cannot wait to read the rest of the pieces in the new book. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for having me on. This was great. Oh, thank you. The book, again, is Strange Weather for Short Novels. It's on sale on Tuesday.